hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and today we'll see another lit code problems contain duplicates uh, into an array so we have let's say we have an integer array we might uh, face some issue uh, like with the duplicates like sometimes we need to remove the duplicates from the array so how do we check with that uh, situation how which algorithms we need to use so in this video we'll explain we'll see uh, which approach will be the best for for us uh, for find the duplicates uh, in an array so first approach is the boot first uh, approach so in this uh, approach what we will see let's say we have an array one two three one so uh, let me draw the array let's say uh, we have one two and we have three and we have one right so uh, what will be the approach here so in this case each and every element let's say for the first element what we'll do for one uh, we'll check the other element right we'll check the next element like two three and one so each and every element we need to check it's a straightforward so each and every element we'll check and we'll see is there any duplicates or not uh, so uh, again for each and every pair let's say for two also we'll check the other element right so like that way we will check we need a two for loop or any loop two loop and then we'll check each and every pair of the element so here as we we are using the two for loop so each and every case as we need to compare so here the complexity will be big of n square right so obviously it's a very straightforward and easy solution but it's not an optimal or, or the best solution because the term complexity is very high although the pace we are not using any extra spaces so uh, the pace complexity will be big of one but that's that's the uh, fine but time complexity is more so we need to find out the second mm, you know solution so second approach is uh, like we, we can sort the array right so let's say uh, if if this is the array and if uh, we sort the array what will happen for this for this one will come in the second position right and two will come in the third and fourth position will be three so this is the sorted array from this here we, if we do the sorting this will be the sorted array so the uh, duplicates will be in adjacent position right adjacent position so here what we need to do we just need to check the next element right if we want to find the duplicate we'll check the i and next we'll check with i plus one so it's pretty straightforward again uh, but here the problem is we need to use the sort and for the sorting for the sorting the complexity is what what is the complexity of the sorting n log n right n log n is the complexity of sorting right so for n log n and again we need to use one for loop to check i and i plus one value uh, but th that will be the uh, big o of n but if the total complexity will be n log n uh, and also the pace complexity what will be the pace complexity pace complexity we're not using any extra pace so that will be the uh, big o of one but uh, here again we are having n log n right that is also uh, not a good time complexity because it, it will be high so next approach will find uh, the best optimal approach what what is that the hash table we have the hash table and and we know that in the hash table the operation of the hash table is you know uh, is is big of one so whatever operation we are using in the hash table like add uh, subtract or we are uh, searching in a hash table every value we have the let's say we have one two three whatever the value we have we have the key pair value right every value we have the key so we do not need to search everything we just need to send the key and we will get the value so here the complexity always is big of one so in this scenario we can use uh, the has uh, table and we can find out that uh, complexity will be what will be that complexity big of n because we just need to find uh, you know now we just need to uh, use uh, one single array and I, I will show you how we can use and how we can achieve the big of n so let's say uh, we have this uh, array let's say we have uh, this one two and three and one so in each iteration uh, we'll use one uh, single loop and each iteration what we'll do we'll take the element and we'll put into the hash table okay we'll put into the hash table let's say first we have one we'll put into this and second we'll put into the another hash table like two and third element will fit put into the uh, in the uh, in that uh, third position so again when we get the duplicate we are in a single for loop uh, when we get the duplicate what we'll do we'll simply check the has table and if the element is exist in the has map we'll simply return true so that will be the best solution we are using the single for loop and that will be the time complexity here will be we go of n but what about the pace complexity because spaces we are using the extra pace right here we are using this uh, has table so that will be the big of n right 
so here uh, yeah it's we need an extra place to achieve this big o of n but this will be the optimal solution so we'll see the code now uh, let's say we'll use uh, uh, one for loop for loop uh, let uh, let i equals to zero and i less than nums uh, dot length i plus plus okay and each iteration will uh, will set the value into the map so first we need to create the map right so let's create one map has map and each and every iteration what we'll do we'll set this value into the map so what value will uh, put this nums i and index okay so and here what we'll do here we'll check the uh, if the element if the element contains in the map then we'll return the true right so if uh, the map dot has map dot has this nums i then what we'll do return true nothing else and if uh, the condition uh, failed we'll return by default false right so this will be the approach let's run that code hopefully it will pass and it's accepted let's submit it oh we have submitted right and this will be the uh, best approach i have found here thank you